Hello everybody, my name is Ali and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to um, rig a Roblox character. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to plugins, which will be in the toolbox over here. And then you click this marketplace and then you click the plugins and type in load characters. Once you have installed that, you want to click this and then you type in your character name. And that's the first step you want to do. Now, once you type in your character, you can either spawn the R6 or R15. R15 is what I would recommend, but it is harder to rig due to there being more body parts. R6 is, is a lot simpler due to less body parts, but for this tutorial, I will be doing R15. Now, once you've got your character, you want to click this right here. Once you do this, you want to import all of these body parts. You can also do the um, accessories if you have accessories with their respective body parts, but you can also... Um, um, import them separately as well but you also have to rig that and once I do that I want to go here and export selection so make a folder where you can separately keep all of these body parts so right here I'll name this Roblox rig body parts once you have your respective folder for everything you want to make sure to name everything so you don't get uh, mixed up so this would be head <laughs> And now once you do that, you just export everything else. Now then, once you're in Blender, what you want to do is that you want to go to Import and click Wavefront OBJ. And what you want to do now is you want to go to your specific folder where you put all your body parts in and export every single one of these OBJs, not MLT, but OBJ files one at a time like how you export it. Now then, once you have everything exported, what you want to do now, as you can see, everything is translucent and that's a no-no in my book. So what you want to do, you want to click onto head or any of the body parts and you click this, material properties, and you just scroll down all the way here and you go into blend mode. Right now it's an alpha blend, so what you want to do is opaque. And now it's became a solid mesh. So make sure to do that, that's the next step. Um, make sure to opaque everything. Now then, as you can see, everything looks a lot more, you know, just nicer in general. So what you want to do now, you want to select everything, and you want to move it. Now as you can see here, the tool right here is not um, in the center of the geometry. Okay, so what you want to do, once you have everything selected, you want to right click, and set origin, and do set origin to geometry. So now that the tool is in the middle, you want to do press 1 on the numpad, and move everything into the center now. And once you do that, press 3 in the numpad and move that like that and now look it's, he's in the center now so the next thing you want to do after that is that you want to go into edit you want to go into preferences add-ons and you want to type in rig and then you want to go to rigging rigify you want to turn that on once you have that on what you can do is do shift a and you go to armature and you do meta rig once the meta rig is there you want to do the same thing you know, to the, into the center. Now the problem is, the problem is that the Roblox character himself is not in the center. One A D. Yeah. Now that he's done that, you want to do one eighty. So when you're doing the rotate, you want to click this, right, and you just type in one eighty, and then you know, magic is finished. Oh no 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 no! Actually, the Roblox character himself is not centered. Now once you've done that, go to the meta rig, right, and. Press 3, put him a bit closer in, press 1, now you can zoom in, and press S to size him up. Now you want to size it into the, the um, size of the character himself. So once you've done that, what you want to do now, is you want to click, you want to go to render, and then you want to click that. You want to go into edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, okay, what you want to do, oh actually no, this looks horrifying. Okay, just go into edit mode, and what you want to do is now you want to press N, right? Go to tool, and click axis mirror. And what axis mirror does is that it um, deletes or does the action of whatever is on the other side. It's like a mirror, exactly like a mirror. So what you want to do now is delete these types of bones that are useless. You don't need these bones, they're ugly. Why do you want bones? Bones are useless. Now for the hand, you just don't want you don't want to delete this. You don't want to delete that. So you just do that. For this though, you can delete that if you want. And for the upper body part, you actually want to do dissolve selected bone to make it big delete. Alright, now that you've done that and your rigging character looks supremely sexy. What you wanna do now? 
that you just want to move your character their bones into their respective place now once you've done that you want to click on three and what you want to do now is select everything and move him into side inside the character now the problem is you want to go to render so once you go into render you click this thing and make sure to click this have this activated you want the toggle x-ray so you can see what you're doing now once you've done that what you want to do is you just want to make all your bones straight once that's straight, you're good to go. Now then, once that once that is finished, what you want to go, you want to go back there. And what you want to do now, you want to go out of edit mode. Out of edit mode. Come on. Let me go out of edit mode. Go to pose mode now. Exactly. So you want to go into viewport shading and have the toggle x-ray on. Now here comes the final part. And this is the last step that you need to do. So now what you need to do is that you have to connect all the different body parts with the specific bones. So upper torso right here, you want to select that by doing shift click just so you know. And control P and bone. And once you've done that, you're good to go. You just have to do it with every single one of them. And yeah, it's epic. So for the final step, that's all you need to do. Just do control P and select for the each, each one of the bones. Once you've done all of that, what you can do now is you select this and you can go to the different body parts and you can rig your character now. <laughs> oh, finally I'm finished. I'm finished. Mmm, smell that feet good. Anyways, that's the end of the tutorial. Just make sure not to do anything sus. I don't want to hear your parents telling me that you're making Rule 34 Roblox porn.